I can't believe I'm top 12. This is, this is freaking awesome. Last week, I was driving a Zoom boom at my construction job. Now I'm cooking in the Master Chef Canada kitchen. I am doing a seared chicken breast, a cauliflower puree, roasted carrots, and a blue cheese Mornay sauce. My mom means a lot to me. I'm dedicating this dish to her. I love you, mom. <laughs> this was the first thing I used to eat with. These chopsticks are really important to me. It takes me back to my childhood. The very first dish that I cooked was dumplings. I wouldn't trade this for anything in the world, and I'm so happy to be here. Come on, come on. The energy in this kitchen right now is incredibly intense. A lot is at stake. The huge advantage that they get if they produce the best mystery box. I smash my heavy cast iron plate right into the front of my glass oven. I've never seen this happen in this kitchen. These ovens are state-of-the-art quality pieces. I don't know if he's being reckless or just careless. You cannot cook without equipment. Alice, can I borrow your oven? Go for it, go. Alice really helped me out. I went from feeling totally crushed to now motivated. I can do this. I mean, I know it's a competition and everything, but uh, it just shows what kind of person she is, and I'm very thankful. Okay, so I'm gonna be making a um, poached lobster. I have eaten lobster several times, but I have never actually ended up cooking it. <laughs> Get in there. Oh my god, go in! Oh my god, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> hey there, Jordan. Hi, Chef Michael. <laughs> One of the top 12's gotta be feeling good. What was the object of inspiration under your mystery box? Um, under my mystery box was a scale. To me, what that says to you is you're a man about precision. Is that true? Absolutely, I don't really know how this is gonna go in this case, but... I think you should just take a deep breath, yes. calm down, take your time. You'll get it done. Thank you, Chef. All right. All right, good luck with that. Yeah. Thanks, Jordan. Why would I pick a protein I don't know how to cook? Oh, my God. Pierre is my kitchen supervisor. He's overseeing the whole operation. I'm doing a pan-roasted rainbow trout with a uh, spicy carrot velouté, butter poached leeks. My cooking style now is French bistro. I like the good things in life. The best food, the best wine, the best golf courses. Out of everyone I know, I'm the best home cook. Come on, get hot. I'm cooking these because my daughter loves chicken wings. <laughs> Kimberly. Hi. What are you making here? I am making some fried chicken wings. Chicken wings? They'll be good, I promise. The dish towel was your inspiring object, right? Is it a good luck charm? It really is. I've always cooked with that. I have a feeling, Kimberly, that everything you do in this kitchen is about your daughter. Yes, uh, she comes first for everything, and you know I miss her so much, and that's why I have to bring it home. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Five minutes! Five minutes! Et voila. Look how Aaron is working with tweezers. He's a very meticulous guy. Sex. One minute! You have one minute left! We want to see beautiful plates. I just need to get that final oil on this damn plate. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Heads up! Woo! Woo! Oh my god. The judges have been observing and tasting throughout the challenge. Now, they take one final look before choosing the three most promising dishes. The winner of this mystery box will receive a huge advantage in the upcoming Elimination Challenge. The first home cook we like to see impressed us with their refined plating. And the home cook is... Aaron. Bring your dish up to the front, please. I'm feeling all the feels, you know? I need the judges to understand how important this is to me. Here we have a little bit of an upscale play on a clam chowder, sweet potato, chive oil, and a piece of pan-roasted cod. 
I gotta tell you, in three seasons, I've never seen someone so serious when their name is called for doing such a great job on a mystery box. I'm just taking the competition very seriously, and uh, I hope that it shows in my work. Here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna unbutton that first button on your shirt. <laughs> You're gonna loosen up a little bit. Yes, sir. You're gonna smile a lot more. <laughs> What do you do for a living again? Um, I manufacture valves, chef. And you cook this way. Those flavors pop. That sauce is divine. It really is. Thank you very much. Why aren't you a chef? It is my dream, chef. It is delicious, beyond delicious. Sweet clams. You can taste that ocean water. A wonderful cream sauce could do with a little bit more of an acidic balance, in my opinion. But that fish, oh so tender, oh so moist. Nicely done. <laughs> the next dish that we'd like to taste may not be the most elegant in the room, but it sure looks extraordinarily tempting. Miranda, please bring your dish to the front. I just got called up second. I'm so excited. I did a little bow. I made an orange and chocolate mini cake with toasted orange scented coconut topped with dark chocolate buttercream. And the inspiration for this cake came from where? So I made a version of this chocolate cake for my wedding. Let's have a little taste. That icing is sublime. Oh. It is absolutely delicious. Soft, creamy, subtle hints of that bitter orange. Great balance. Chocolate cake with the coconut, delicious. A little on the dry side, okay. but the two together are heaven. Thank you, Chef. Your husband is a very lucky fellow. I think so. Miranda. Hi, Chef Alvin. Tell me. What is the best part of this cake? Uh, the icing. You know what's the best way to eat icing? And just take this, <laughs> okay? <laughs> wow, I almost bit off my finger. <laughs> that is one of the nicest, smoothest, chocolatiest, loving icing I've ever had. You will go far. Thank you, Chef. I am Master Chef Woman Miranda, hear me roar. The third and final dish that we like to call up was surprisingly sophisticated and refined. And the home cook I'm talking about is... Trevor. I can't believe I made the top three. When I broke that oven, I thought I was done. So what you have before you there is a pan-roasted chicken breast, a cauliflower puree, a carrot done two ways, and a blue cheese Mornay sauce. It's a work of art, against all odds. I'm curious, what's your reputation? I think people think I'm sort of a goofball, but I mean, I'm here to play. I'm here to play hard. The flavors are so intelligent, so well put together. I'm struggling to find an imperfection here, but there's one you need to use a little bit more sea salt if you have it. Trevor, you have a fancy stuff here. Tell me, who taught you all this? I was trained to cook as a young boy, and I sort of developed this plating technique by watching chefs among your stature on television. This is rich. This is sophisticated. You know, I was not professionally trained either. One of the few self-taught Michelin star chef in this world. And being here in this kitchen is the best opportunity that you will get that I did not get. Thank you, Chef. I want to win this mystery box because this sets the tone for all the other challenges. It's going to be an amazing competition this year. They are a very strong group of home cooks. It's crucial that I win this mystery box. I only have one chance to make a first impression. I don't think we've seen dishes of such high quality this early on. 
I feel that everybody kind of takes me seriously now and uh, I'm a force to be reckoned with. One of you created a dish that stood out a little bit more than the rest. And that home cook is... Trevor. Yes. I couldn't be happier getting the very first advantage in this entire competition. Trevor, you are now the cook to beat. Let's go.